Alright, this is like a Sam Wilson appreciation post because I really like this guy and I feel like he's pretty dang underrated. Um, my next Hidden Gems video is going to be about this guy in particular. So yeah, I thought I'd just, you know, start it early with some more gameplay. So yeah, this is um tier 2. This is the, what's it called? Prowess power tactic, right? And Sam Wilson is an armor burn attacker tactic character. So yeah, uh, what armor burn does is basically per armor up, you like power burn the opponent, right? And prowess power characters they gain prowess whenever like you crit them or whenever they purify a debuff right and sam wilson he just doesn't care about that because one he doesn't crit right and also with like kitty pride here he has a cowardice whenever he does lock on and cowardice just like locks down kitty pride for the rest of the fight right so yeah sam wilson is such a good kitty pride counter man like the the cowardice on the lock on just like completely like ruins her right and yeah this is um on no 53 which is stunning reflection and stunning reflection is pretty dang annoying but um, I didn't realize this until after the fight. Sam Wilson counters Center Reflection, like, very, very well, because his Bulwark on Intercept, that lets you parry without getting stunned, because his Bulwark reduces offensive ability accuracy by about 100%, and that's just a massive ability, right? Because that, like, counters Center Reflection, that counters Hard Knock Life in the next fight, and yeah, it's just a crazy good ability, man. And also, I feel like it's just, like, the best part of his kit. Like, I think he has a great kit overall. Like, of course, the one thing that, like, is problematic is the damage output. But honestly, like, the rest of his kit is just so, so good, man. He has the cowardice. He has the non-crit. He has the power drain. He has the bulwark. The bulwark is actually pretty dang insane. He just has a lot going on for him, and I really think he's a very, very solid champion overall. So yeah, um, this fight's going pretty well. Like, the fight is just in our control for, like, the whole entire time, right? Because, you know, the cowardice just shuts down kitty pride we don't crit so we don't worry about prowess power either and yeah it's just like a very very easy fight overall if we're actually able to gain power though this fight would be like you know half the time i feel like because his sp2 is a massive like boost to his damage output and like his basic attacks while they aren't like too bad like damage wise it's really all about the sp2 man and you're gonna see in the next fight that like yeah it does help a ton so yeah here this fight was about two minutes and three seconds which isn't really too bad for center reflection um and now we have 55 spot this is no 55 this is um hard knock life limber and the best defense uh but the important thing here is hard knock life and limber right but sam wilson he counters hard knock life with his borg passive so you're gonna see here i'm gonna go for like a parry sometime throughout the fight and like he just doesn't care he just like will not gain the disorient on him which is pretty dang awesome man additionally his uh lock on counters miss so you know how like whenever you want to trigger untouchable for a spot it like does that burst of rupture damage to you well sam wilson just doesn't care right because he counters the miss like pretty well so right here we go for the hit it says miss failed we don't take that big burst of rupture damage and yeah just a pretty like easy way to just you know counter spot like that and yeah, besides that, the fight is just a pretty straightforward one. Um, you're going to see, like, later on in the fight, I go for a parry, right? But I'm going to have the Borg passive on me. The Borg buff, sorry. And, like, we won't get a disorient on us. So, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like this guy is just, like, the perfect counter for this fight. He counters the miss. He counters Hard Knock Life. He just, like, counters everything in this fight, pretty much. And, yeah, right there, we go for this V2. Some pretty nice damage there. We didn't have, like, that many armor ups, so unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, here we can just bait out the SP1. Hopefully, he triggers Untouchable soon while we have, like, the lock on on him. And, yeah, that'll just, like make us not worry at all so here he's getting more spots but we're not going to care about that soon because you know what if he goes untouchable it doesn't matter because we have the lock on active and it says miss fail right there and yeah we dropped sp2 some pretty nice numbers man and yeah untouchable is over there and yeah this fight is just in our control once again it's just a pretty awesome time we take some degeneration damage there but it's fine um i think i went for the parry there but i shouldn't have because i didn't have my borg passive active my borg buff sorry i keep calling it a passive even though it's a buff uh but yeah like when we had the buff active though like we wouldn't take a disorient there which is you know pretty dang sweet but yeah since the buff wasn't active i got the disorient on me unfortunately but that doesn't matter because the fight is almost over pretty much so here i dropped the sp2 one more time does some pretty nice damage and yeah the fight it's just about like over from here man we go for the sp1 hopefully we get a crit no crit unfortunately and uh yeah like he's at six spots now but you know what we still have the lock on so we hit into his like miss we don't get a miss rupture on us and yeah that ends the fight in about 159 which is not bad at all and yeah that'll be it for this video um let me know your thoughts on sam wilson for me personally i feel like he's a very fun champion um be on the lookout for a hidden gem sam wilson video and also yeah this guy's my favorite like armor and attacker for sure if not him then warlock but unfortunately warlock is on defense so yeah i can't really use him at all and uh, yeah that's about it for me